Well, 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 my friends. Alfred Montaner again. And we are doing another continuation walk video here of Miami, guys. And uh, I've been doing a series of walking tours of South Beach, Brickell, Little Havana, all the areas where you would probably want to come. And the prior video that I had just recently released in this walking tour was finished at Bayside and you see the big giant Ferris wheel there, which is a good video. I would tell you to watch that one before you watch this one. But right now we're on Northeast Third Street and this video is essentially going to be, we're going to be walking inside the heart of downtown. So we're in the Brickell area, I'm sorry, in the downtown area and uh, you guys are going to see what downtown looks like now there's different there's different areas i'm not going to be able to walk the entire downtown area but my goal with these videos is to give you a perspective feel for the areas and kind of tell you along the way what you're seeing a lot of construction still going on over here you got some uh, public transportation and the metro mover which we discussed last video. That's why I want you to watch the last video before you watch this one, which is essentially a, basically a mover that takes you around the Brickell downtown area. So it's a part of our Metro rail system. And uh, we're gonna walk and talk and I'll tell you some of the older places, newer places. And we are doing this video relatively early it's around 10 45 in the morning i'm sorry 11 30 in the morning and uh you will start seeing some people do this uh coming out for lunch because it is during the work week Really haven't walked too much here as of late. Um, see, you hear? Here is the Metro Mover. See where it starts off and goes. They, they kind of need to fix that sign already, but this is it. That's your Metro Mover. Now this will connect to a larger train that we have, which is called the Metro Rail. See how it goes even in between buildings. So, all right, so we're on 2nd uh, Avenue right now. And we are going to make a left because we are now, this is one of the uh, motorcycles making a scene. Okay, that's the Miami Day Wolf, Wolfson camps, campus, uh, camp, uh, campus. And um, we're gonna walk, we're gonna talk. Like I said, I can't get, I can't get all the major streets along the way because it's just it'll be a 45 hour video but just to give you guys a perspective of what the downtown of miami is looking like nowadays maybe sometimes you guys are always saying oh my god i can't believe miami looks like that now got some calls coming in but when when don't I you know when doesn't Alfred Mountain and I have calls coming in okay so we're in Northeast Second Avenue right now I'm sorry North Northeast Second Street now we're gonna see a little bit of everything here guys I'm gonna try to walk on all the areas where I think you guys can see a little bit of 
downtown, what it looks like. We're gonna go one block over. I want you guys to get the whole feel. These roads are one ways here. And we are walking and talking. Yeah. You will see that every now and then here. Actually, like I said in uh, my prior video, most of the homelessness, which is not much, you'll see concentrated in the downtown area. There's pockets of areas where most of them congregate. Um, but I've found that our police down here, they don't let them dwell anywhere. They just make them move. So they kind of make them uncomfortable. So they're not staying in areas where they're not gonna be asked to leave. So if they're in an area right now, that's gonna be in the way of businesses and people like yourselves that are gonna be in the city, they're probably gonna ask them to move. Now there is designated areas where they just are known to be and they're not pretty much bothered there. Now we're walking. I'm trying to do all these videos that I'm doing on my series unedited so you guys can see stuff for yourself. Back there, you're starting to see the metro rail system. And you got some, I believe some courthouses also coming up. Big Catholic church here. Now, one of the cool things about downtown is that you still feel that old school, that old school Miami. Oh, look at my daughter. Wait, open the door. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? You're going to work now? Oh my God. What are the odds? My daughter, that is so funny. She works around here, guys. I thought she was at work. That is too funny. How crazy is that? <sighs> well, it's good to see my daughter. I mean, I'm not happy that she's going late to work, but I'm sure she made up a good excuse. So, this is downtown, guys. That's my oldest daughter, by the way. And I am a grandfather. Um, she has a little boy that's a year and a half which got everybody in the house crazy and we love it. I should ask her, I should go ask her for her car. They're like, hey, give me your car. <laughs> uh -huh. So, Now, recently, within the last couple of months, in 2020, 2020 was obviously a crazy year with everything that's been happening. Um, but there was some, some rioting that had happened and it looks like uh, places like this were targeted. Now, back there, you have the City National building um, which I said prior video is one of the oldest, most known buildings down here in South Florida or in this area. But now downtown is known for having a lot of cheap prices on things. I mean, it used to, I don't know about now, but you got watch stores. A lot of people locally come over here for jewelry. Um, 
So if you wanted to go ahead and get some, some jewelry, probably this will be the place to come. Uh, there's an actual building, which is here. Okay, here, the Sable building, um, which is the, I would say the, the place where most people come to buy gold and stuff like that. So people are walking. You see the metro, remember back down way is Bayside. And like I said, you have a lot more jewelry. Um, obviously in South Florida, the Cuban link is something really well known. This is called J. Rose uh, jewelry. Look at the size of that Cuban link, dude. That's crazy. That's nuts. So lots and lots of jewelry in this area. Now, this is the building that has a good majority of the places here of, of for jewelry. Sable building. Uh, I don't know, maybe I can walk through to the other side. Okay, let me see, hold on guys. Let me see. I don't wanna be asked to leave, but. All right, this is gonna cross over to the following street, but. You see here? All these places. Look at this. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of places online that have all this stuff. No? Okay, thanks. All right, well, you can't record here. So. Well, now you know why. I mean, I guess I don't want people to know there's billions of dollars in there. All right, well, the Sable building. It looks like it's getting um, renovated. more obviously a lot more places uh, international jewelry center mr alex jewelry you got a nice little pizza place here so north miami avenue guys and what street is this and uh north first street that is where you're gonna be, you're gonna be able to go ahead and see a lot of these jewelry places. Now we continue. All right guys, so as we walk and as we talk, so that, that this road right here will lead us over the bridge that if you saw the other video, it will take us to um, Brickell. But we're not gonna be in the Brickell area. We're gonna go show you guys kind of what downtown looks like. I want you guys to get a good feel for this. Some of you guys have retired from working in this area. And there's gonna be an area called Government Center and Civic Center that you get off on the Metro Rail. The, the, heaviest um, boarded spot and the heaviest spot where people leave on the metro rail is always government center and the reason that is is because it's basically the one that stops from the train in the heart of downtown which is this area here you got federal uh, courthouses here and uh, you got some parking here right now. It says it's $10 to park here. All these are older buildings that have been here a long time. Not a lot of new construction here. So there it is. 
Now, as locals, we really don't come to downtown much. Most of the people that come over here um, are tourists looking for really good deals um, or people that work in this area. Now we're coming across that major metro rail point, which is called Government Center. Dade County Bar Association up there. Now, as I walk, this is the Dade County Courthouse, by the way, guys. If you guys wanted to know, this is it right here. I wonder what they're doing here because this is a okay is it back here yeah right there is where you would board the metro rail those are the metro movers the small ones are the metro movers so let's cross the street wow a taxi it's almost like seeing an old school payphone you barely see them anymore Uber and Lyft destroyed those businesses considerably. History Miami Olympia Theater. You have Courthouse Tower over here. There's also a couple. Now, we're coming up across areas we're in the past, I, I mean, I don't know. I really don't transit this, this area much, but in the past there, there would be uh, some homeless segment of the people that live in this area around here, coming towards my right a little bit. But like I said, it's, everything has changed. There's so much construction that has happened. You see how it starts saying the Brickle District. All right, guys, this is where you would walk to get to the Metro Rail. You would walk through here, Miami-Dade Cultural Center, and you see over there that is basically the walking point so from here you would walk over there you get on the metro rail you can go i can go to my house on the metro rail. i would have to take a couple of buses but it, it can happen from here so if i wanted to see here you see how it's that's the metro mover that one will take me towards brickle um i don't know if this was boarded up because of the pandemic or what the story is but we're walking we're talking and we're talking a lot of shit and we're here we got those ventanitas i was telling you about Hello. and coming up i think this is one of the courthouses Now, going ahead, moving ahead, like I was telling you guys, you'll start seeing a little bit more of the homeless population coming up this way. But I do want you to see everything for what it is. And like I've been telling you guys in my other videos, I don't wanna go ahead and just do a video and not show certain things. I want you guys to see things for what they are, not for what, you know, we're trying to, portray it to be. Museum Tower, 150 Museum Tower. You got some ATMs here. Yeah, definitely don't recommend being walking in these areas alone at night. Um, just because, think about it, most of the stuff that happens here in downtown happens usually during the day. There will be a couple of restaurants and stuff like that but I would recommend going in and out 
uh, you know, getting dropped off door to door, you know. Get picked up at the door and leave at the door. Don't, don't linger or walk around or... Now, those get you back onto 95, and here we can still walk the opposite way, guys, and you'll see similar stores and things like what we just saw. But now we're seeing some of the overpasses that get us into downtown when we're walking. Wow, you see, like these areas, I would have. I would have thought to, to see a lot more homeless people, to be honest with you. Um, I think maybe further along, which, hey, listen, hopefully that has not materialized and things are getting better for those that are homeless and hopefully that situation is good. You know, we have def definitely shelters down here, like Camilla's house and places like that that they can go. But like everything, not everybody wants help. And uh, some people just choose to live the way they live. Yeah, like, so this, this area here, see? Back where that SunTrust building is, where we were talking about earlier. So yeah, this area here is known for having a lot of homeless people. And now that bridge where we're gonna walk over gets us to the area where we call uh, Brickle. So you see, Remember when I was talking to you guys on the other side of an area on the other video called Riverfront? This is where it was. Okay, you see here, guys? This is one of the areas that there's some homeless people. Couple over here. And this is Southwest 2nd Street and uh, what street is it? And 2nd Avenue. Now this bridge leads us back to the Miami River. And those that haven't seen my Miami River tugboat series and filming off the Miami River, I've done a lot of cool videos out of there. And uh, here is, I think, um, Miami City Hall. Could be wrong. You know, things look a little different when you're walking and talking a lot of chit. Yeah, how funny. I can't believe I saw my daughter. She saw me working. That's awesome. Now, some of you guys have commented during the Mariel boat lift when there is a lot of Cubans. Uh, that came in the 80s to Miami, a lot of you guys basically said, hey, under these overpass, they kind of chained them up and that's where they store the Cubans until they find out, found out how to go ahead and get them a place and you know how to figure all the paperwork scenario because what Castro essentially did, he said, you guys wanna leave, get out of here. Everybody wants to leave, do whatever you want, I'm out of here, get out of here. So he got rid of all the people that hated him and uh, you know a lot of good people came during the 80s um, my wife being one of them uh, during during the Mariel boat lift and uh, they've become respectable Cuban Americans out here in South Florida and I've worked really hard to make the city what it is you know not just them alone but obviously they're a big contributing factor this is the city of Miami Riverside Center. So it says it's the registration building. Now, we can walk 
under here, which I'm not going to do, but I can show you a little bit of some of the areas where you also seen some of the boats that I've filmed. And if you've known or seen some of my videos, I've told you guys, hey guys, it's kind of sketchy. And uh, now you know a little bit of the behind the scenes of what I was meaning. Now, once I cross this bridge, we are essentially crossing over to the Brickell area. And we're leaving what we would consider downtown. Obviously, the skyline, it's hard to see now with these trees. But once I get to the top of this bridge, I can give you guys a better perspective of where we're at. I'm not circling everything within this building, within this video. Um, let that truck pass. Because what I'm trying to do is, um, <laughs> I just ate a freaking fly. Damn, he shit it in my mouth. Damn it. These walkthrough videos, you guys better be <laughs> smashing that like. Ugh. That's disgusting. <laughs> Damn, I don't even know I can recover from that. Freaking pigeon shit on me the other day, now it's a freaking fly. All right. So, what I was trying to say before I was basically assaulted by some Randall is, oh, the, oh my God, I need to catch my breath. Hold on. I'm going uphill, guys, and I'm fat. Leave me alone. Here's the Miami River. So when you see me filming in front of an American social, here it is. You see here? I have shots in there, sometimes under this bridge. Uh, there's homeless people sometimes. And here's the river. You see? You got a Tobo US bringing somebody in right now, which we got a little idea of what's going on there. And this is 95 build uh, right there on the backdrop when I was doing the tugboat series one of the tugboat captains was uh, scared to do that one Greg the captain I was with he wasn't scared of the 95 but it's such a cool angle to to drive that it's very difficult or different How cool is this, huh? So, dude, I think between the Calle Ocho video, if you haven't seen it, you've got to watch it. The one before this one, which is the basically the uh, Brickle video, and now this downtown video with a combination of the South Beach video, I pretty much have all the areas you're going to want to cover, not including Wynwood which we will do soon, which is basically Wynwood and the design district is another one I want you guys to see. Um, and we've uh, almost come full circle. Let me cross over. Okay. Now here, you see this here? That is North, uh, Southwest 7th Street. I'm gonna go down through here, only because I know the area and I know what to expect. But yeah, you, 
This is undeveloped property and there's a park on the other side and there's also a street that's really inhabited by a lot of homeless people. Which doesn't mean they do bad things. I just want you to know what's going on. That's my hope that people see this and help, you know, eliminate some of that problem that we have in, in America. Now these are basically probably gonna be constructed soon. Building, very popular. Back in the days, no longer there. Looks like it had its own little ramp. And uh, prime property, guys. Prime property. Now, that park right there on the other side is called Jose Marti Park. You know, out of respect for some of these people who are not in the best position possible. I'm gonna go to the other side of the street. Um, but yeah, look, um, the homeless scenario has, has considerably changed over here, guys. I, th I would have thought that there would be a lot more. Um, so either because of the pandemic, they have, you know, considerably targeted this scenario. Um, but yeah, it's not as much as what I would have considered at all. And remember back at the Publix that we saw in the last video? It's right here. And back there, you guys still see the Miami River, Publix, like I said, it's our, our grocery store chain. This is all undeveloped. Let's see who's, I don't know, maybe they're designing something for, I don't know, it would be good if it were like a city, you know, city park or something over here in this entire area, like, uh, the other park over there on the river is pretty run down. Now, during the day, guys, I mean, I'm, I'm holding a very expensive camera with a very expensive gimbal. And I didn't feel uncomfortable doing this video or the prior video to this one at all, um, as far as safety. If I did, I would tell you, like I said, I wouldn't transit these areas at night, just because it's areas that are less frequented um, over here. Now, we started the video one block over. Remember, it's only one way. So it's 8th Street is on there, and this is 7th Street. And that's Brickle, all back there and the skyline of Miami that you typically see in your pictures. And then what I'll do is I'll go over the overpass. And uh, once I get over the overpass, I'm gonna be parked to my left on 8th Street where we started the other video. That's not this one, it's the one that's prior to this one. But in a nutshell, guys, you guys have walked with me a good uh, good segment of Miami and you're seeing things for what they are not what they're trying to paint the picture of it being and to be honest with you I'm uh, I'm not embarrassed to say anything bad about my city I've been to many places and uh, you know there's every city has their own dark side everybody knows that but considering what I've walked, it's uh, it's much better than what I expected, to be honest. 
And as a local, you know, I, I live down south. I live in the suburbs of Miami. And it's much different over there. Like every major city, you know? Now this was the areas where you guys have told me that they would keep the Mariels, the Cubans. But it looks like they, uh, they're renting it out to uh, local dealers to go ahead and store their vehicles. Now, Jose Marti, Lot 28, Miami Parking Authority. All right, remember, when you go um, west, when you go west on 8th Street, you have to go up 7th instead of 8th, because it's only one way. And back to Calle Ocho, we are. Now, once I make a ride over here, I have another video called Little Havana on my, uh, look, I see some tourists there. You see them right here. You can just tell, they look lost. See, this is why, watch this, watch this. Okay. So now, if they wanted to go to Little Havana from here, uh, well, to, to the major areas, they're gonna have to get an Uber on the opposite street, which is 7th Street. Hey, you guys visiting over here? You guys visiting here? You're visiting Miami? Yeah. yeah, where are you guys coming from? Chile. Peru? Chile. Oh, Chile. Van a La Pequeña Habana. <laughs> you guys are going to, to Little Havana. Little Havana, yo estoy grabando para YouTube. Little Havana está ahí. Queremos ir a La Pequeña Habana. Sí. Mañana. Okay, ¿dónde van hoy? Ahora vamos al Museo del Holocausto. Okay. ¿Y cómo va a llegar? En la, en la guagua J. Ok. Y dejo en Miami Beach. Ok. Guys, so they're taking the public transportation. Ok, muchas gracias. Si quieren, busca el nombre Alfredo sin la O Montanera en YouTube y se, se van a ver, ok? At, hasta luego. So, so here's what they're doing. So they're getting public transportation and they're getting on. Oh, look. This is it probably, right here. One of these buses here. Uh, that's gonna take them from here to the beach. And, uh, and that's where my wife's car is. There you, see, you see guys, we've come full circle. Um, what a walk. I, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. Um, let me say, I'm out of here. <laughs> wait, wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? So, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, check out the other series and the other videos if you haven't seen them. So, there are a lot of good videos that you can see my city. And uh, I like to do them unedited, unscripted, so you guys can see what happens as it happens. All right? My name is Alfred Montaner, the king of haul over. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out of here. Boom! Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.